Hello friends, my name is Erin Josie. I will be handling this session. NumPy. NumPy is a package that is used to deal with metrics. So you may be thinking we have list. Why do we need another package uh, NumPy for dealing with matrices? We can do with uh, the list, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. actually it is true, but uh, num uh, numpy has a great advantage because numpy only deals with number and numbers and it is much faster than the uh, calculation doing uh, done with the list and it also contains many inbuilt functions that can be used so that uh, we don't have to do the basic calculation every single time and we can um, uh, save more time so let's let's see some important uh, functions and operations in numpy so i am importing numpy using the same as import numpy named of a variable called empty a variable called empty and i have used a function called zeros and i given a, a list of two values two and two what it does it two and two is the size of the matrix uh, that we want to create the two is the number of uh, the first two is the number of rows and the second two is the number of columns so on the what it essentially does it it creates a two into two matrix whose entire elements are zero and let's print that matrix yeah we printed a two into two matrix whose elements are zero zeros so let's so i'm gonna you call numpy as np in the rest of the session for easy use so the zeros and the function zeros can take another uh, argument called d type that is data type and integer and higher input at the uh, size of the functions uh, as a tuple uh, uh, as tuple uh, 3 comma 2 so what it essentially does it, it creates a uh, creates a 3 into 2 matrix whose in the data type is integer and whose uh, all elements are zeros So here we have only see, uh, seen the arrays whose elements are zeros. So let's create an uh, array that we uh, like. We want to create like let's create an uh, other array and we have the values for the array. I have given the values one comma two comma three and for for the first row and four comma five comma six for another row. So it creates a 2 into 3 matrix with the uh, values given in the parameters of the np.array function I'm gonna hit shift and uh, we can use array.size to find the size of an numpy array so it essentially returns this 2 into 3 matrix I guess okay so it's 2 into 3 yeah 2 into 3 6 it's gives out gives out the number of elements in the array so 2 into 3 that is 6 and uh, air dot shape that is uh, it rep uh, returns the shape of the uh, numpy array arr let's uh, so here it is 2 into 3 that is 2 rows and 3 columns that's 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 so for taking the transpose of a matrix in uh, numpy we can use dot t like what is does it arr dot t means uh, it will give the transpose of this matrix so it will give a 3 into 2 matrix so this elements and rows are inverse 1 4 one four two five. You can see the I think you can see my cursor. Two five two five three six three six. Yeah, that's how it essentially does. Now let's look into the slice slicing of an uh, array. So I have created an array. Uh, eight two into two into five array. 
so uh, this animals have 1 to 10 and uh, I have called and I am uh, slicing the array and here I have given the first argument as 1 so in, uh, in programming like for this the counting starts from 0 so 0 means the first row so so essentially the 1 means the second row so here the second row is this one 6 7 8 9 10 so we are going to slice from 1 to 4 so since the it starts from 0 0 is 6 1 is 7 and for up to 4 up to 4 minus 1 that is up to 3 that is uh, 1 2 3 that's it will print 7 8 9 Yeah, you can get the array 7, 8, 9. Similarly, we can do with the rows also. Instead of slicing through the uh, columns, we can also slice, slice through the rows. Yeah, it's 0, 2. It is uh, from 0 to 1. That is 1. And uh, we, are to, we are taking the third element. Uh, yeah, third element in each row that is here 3 in the other row it will be 8 and it is printing 3 comma 8 as an array so I am now here i am going to declare two array a two two into two array a square matrix so actually it is a matrix sorry to call it as an array two dimension array yeah it's two dimension array I'm gonna initialize this P and Q with two arrays. P cross Q. So what it does it? So it will uh, multiply the elements of the first row. It is the elements of first column that is one into four plus uh, two into six. That's the first element uh, in the uh, array of P cross Q. And similarly for all the elements let's see the output yeah 1 into 4 plus 2 into 6 that is 16 and similarly for less all the elements so p plus q what is essentially does it it uh, element wise add all the it will add all elements of the corresponding position so it will add the uh, element of position 0 0 to the position uh, of p to the element in the position 0 0 in the matrix q and similarly with the element 0 1 to the element of 0 1 in q let's hit enter and see the answer that's 5 7 8 10 so 1 plus 4 is 5 2 plus 5 is 7 2 plus 6 is 8 and 3 plus 7 is 10. That's how we got the answer. That's 5, 7, 8, 10. And the, the star operator as a multiplication operator in the uh, in, as used in integers, it will uh, give the element wise multiplication of two matrix. So it will give 1 into 4, 2 into 5, 2, 2 into 6 uh, correspondingly, correspondingly for every single element. Yeah. and we are creating a new an, uh, variable called x and we are initializing with a numpy array which contains uh, values from 0 to 11 uh, which is you uh, and it is created by using np dot arrange what, what arrange essentially a range, so a range uh, what essentially does it, it, uh, it takes an argument, it is an integer and it creates a numpy uh, array from 0 to the value you have, 0 to n minus 1, that is n is the value you have entered. So here it will create, here it will create an uh, array from 0 to 11. So we have we got a one dimensional array here 
which contains 12 elements so we can uh, so here i am here i am going to create a new array called y whose shape is forest tree and uh, we are changing the shape of the array x into 4 into 3 and storing it like we are uh, changing uh, size of x into x for into 4 into 3 and storing that value into y so here here the numbers from uh, 1 to 11 will be split into 4 rows and 3 columns that is and let's see the output yes here we have three columns and four rows as expected here we'll be talking about open cv so open cv is used for computer vision and it is used to do stuff like object detection compute uh, video capturing and other stuff like that so uh, open cv is also available in uh, c plus plus and java and uh, let's without further delay let's get started and we will not be doing like some crazy stuff like object uh, detection in this video but we will be having a separate video for that you can refer that later so here i am uh, importing the module open cv which is uh, named as cv2 stands for open cv2 which is the second version of open cv so and uh, and uh, all, since we are running open cv on google collab most of uh, some features uh, of open cv are not readily available on google collab so to get that functionalities we will be uh, importing google collab dot patches from that we will be importing cv cv2 underscore im show and we'll be calling that as show as a show alias and uh, i will be running that statements now and here for for this tutorial i will be uploading a image for that i will be clicking that a symbol of folder here files and I will be uploading from my computer. I have a small photo of a flower here. I am uploading here. So there will be a warning, it will be deleted after this uh, collab has been run. Click OK. I am clicking this three dot here. And I am copying the path of this file. So I have created an uh, variable called img and I have used uh, cv2.im read and I will be inputting the path of the file I mean the image here that uh, which I have copied earlier which is content slash image dot jpeg so I will be using show to view the uh, image here and I am clicking it shift enter to see the result yeah here yeah, i was able to see a small image of a beautiful flower so, to create a black and white uh, part of this picture uh, of this flower i'm using cvt.cvt color and i will be giving the variable uh, which uh, which has uh, stored this image has created here img and other and to which color space we are converting into here i am con uh, converting this color image that is blue green red to a gray scale that is black and white image and this is stored in the variable bw and i am uh, and uh, giving this to the input uh, giving this to the uh, function cv2 dot i am sure which is called as show here and i'm clicking shift tender to see the result 
this is a small thing maybe it's a small introduction to the open cv we'll be dealing with this in the upcoming videos i hope you guys like python uh, and there are several more packages in python such as matplotlib which is a package which is used for data representation such as to draw a scatter plot a bar diagram a pie chart and all that and sci and scipy is used for uh, higher order math and beautiful soup is a library uh, it's a package that is used for web scraping in a uh, of a website it can be used to extract uh, information from a website uh, numpy as we had uh, as we discussed uh, earlier they are used to deal with arrays in python and there are uh, frameworks called django and flask for web development and it contains tensorflow and keras for neural network in uh, for machine learning and open c and it contains open c for computer vision and it also contains a package called selenium for web automation which essentially means to automate stuff in uh, python like uh, opening your gmail automatically or like opening your whatsapp and uh, sending your sending a message automatically and contain tkinder for creating a desktop application it contains many elements for gui graphic that is the graphical user interface and uh, python also contains pygame for creating games in python thank you guys for following this tutorial have a nice day